Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Manu and today we are going to talk about my home office setup. Some of my friends are asking about my office setup. Today I will detail it and explain its purpose. Please use this video to reference on building your own home office setup. It is purposely designed to support my job, my workflow, my business and also my personal interest. I work as a full-time web developer slash software engineer in a private Australian company. I make websites for a long time now and I also own a small studio named Glastone located at Quezon City, Quezon Avenue. I am also a filmmaker slash director in progress and aspiring YouTuber. Aside from the things that I've said, I also make drum videos and play drums. And all these things that I make, I process it in this small bedroom slash home office. So if we have a similar interest, please do subscribe to this channel. Click that subscribe button and as well as that bell icon para ma notify ka sa bawat video na upload ko. What you are about to see is a demand to support the needs in programming, mixing and mastering, video editing, and as well as gaming on my free time. So let's go into full details. I will start in my monitors guys. So I use three screens. It's an Asus 1080p resolution, 75Hz refresh rate. Yung model, isusulat ko na lang sa description. I chose this monitor two years ago because it fits my budget. And also yung functionalities niya and yung features niya saktong sakto sa needs ko. So why do I have three screens? It's intentional guys. It helps me save time and remember things. My typical screen setup from the left, uh, you can see the communication uh, software here. I have the messenger right here. Uh, hindi ako lagi nasa Facebook but instead laging naka-on yung messenger ko because yung mga partners ko sa Glassstone Studio and some of my friends are messaging me in the messenger. So Facebook is a complete distraction while I work kaya in-eliminate ko siya sa work routine ko. Napakaganda kasi ang Facebook. Nag-create na sila ngayon ng messenger software available in Mac and Windows. So, ayan na ngayon ang ginagamit ko. I also use Skype and Slack for communications for my clients. Sa screen center, nandyan yung codes, nandyan din yung browser. Uh, dito ako mostly nakatitig most of the time. On the right naman guys, makikita ninyo uh, nandyan yung aking terminal and yung notebook ko, uh, yung notes ko. In terminal guys, it helps me see the bugs in background. So while in the process, yung mga runtime bugs, dyan ko tingitings. It helps me to see the problem behind what I am seeing in browser. I am using two computers. I use Mac for work and PC for my mixing, video editing, and gaming stuff. May MacBook Pro, issued yan ng company sa akin. Kung saan ako nagtatrabaho. Shout out sa iyo, boss. It's a 2019 MacBook Pro uh, with 512 uh, storage and 16 gigabyte of memory. And my personal computer, guys, masosopresa kayo dahil it's a six-year-old computer. Uh, my computer is Core i7 Generation 3 pa yan. Uh, meron lang siyang 32 gigabyte of memory and uh, 1070 Ti na video card. I use my MacBook Pro like 75% daily. Kasi nandyan lahat ng trabaho ko and then uh, lahat ng codes, programs nandyan. Pag umaga, yung MacBook Pro and then at night naman, yung PC ko naman yung ginagamit ko sa mixing and mastering, studying, um, video editing, and gaming. To split my screen into three while I'm, I'm in Mac, I use the Dell D6000 device. It expands your vision into three. It supports uh, USB-C. It works for Mac and PC rin. Pero sa case ko, sa Mac ko lang siya ginagamit kasi yung PC ko is capable of uh, giving me four screen displays. Gagawa ko ng video about the details ng the D6000 so please subscribe to this channel para ma-notify ka once na nag-upload ako about it. My peripherals, simple lang yung peripherals ko. I own a K68 Corsair RGB keyboard. Medyo natutuwa ako sa multiple colors as you can see in my channel. So, yeah. And then my mouse is MX Master 2S. I like the functionality of the mouse. It works both in uh, Windows and Mac. So, perfect siya para sa dalawang machine na ginagamit ko. Before, I was using the Corsair Scimitar Pro but the quality is not impressive. Uh, nakatatlong warranty na ako sa kanila and, and then I decided to give it up and then switch to another brand. 
Alright, for my webcam, I use the Logitech C922 camera. I use it mostly in communication and also for streaming games sometimes and then making videos for clients and then etc etc. It's a general purpose cam for me I'd say. For my microphone, I use the HyperX Quadcast microphone, uh, Mark 1, I think, uh, the first version. Uh, HyperX has released uh, the new version of this microphone, I think. Uh, the difference is yung port sa likod is USB-C na, and then RGB na rin yung kulay niya. Yung sa akin kasi, kulay red lang yan. So, yeah. so, for my speakers, guys, as you can see, I am using a Yamaha NS10 Pro speakers. I got it from abroad. Sabi nila, if you own these speakers, magiging okay daw yung yung inyong mixing totoo nga <laughs> naging okay yung mixing ko and naririnig ko yung mga frequencies na hindi ko naririnig dati before i was in, i was using uh, Yamaha HS5 pero tinabi ko muna siya sa diyan sa tabi dahil i know in the future magagamit ko rin siya and it serves as my backup as well so yung Yamaha na to guys it requires a power amp that is why I bought a CLA 200 by Aventone to power up these speakers. Passive kasi siya. It's uh, 1990s, 1980s made speakers that I bought from Japan. Yung sound niya, I'd say it's flat. Uh, yung frequencies maririnig mo, it concentrates on the mid-range. Uh, malilinis mo talaga yung maduduming frequencies na naririnig ng tenga mo. I am working in the environment which is not treated nga pala. I don't have any treatment in this room. Kaya medyo nagbabounce yung mga sound dito but for me it works. Hopefully guys sa future, sa mga next videos ko, makapag-improve ako ng facility at ma-improve ko yung sound treatment na I tried a bunch of speakers. Um, my first speaker was uh, M-Audio BX5. So okay naman siya but I find it really hard to mix there kasi nagdo-dominate yung low end ng speaker na yun. And then I switched into Yamaha HS5 no nagkaroon na ng uh, stock dito sa Pilipinas. And then no nagkaroon ako ng extra budget, I went to NS10 Pro. For my interface and sound card, uh, before I was using the Focusrite 2i2. It's a two-port Focusrite para dito sa aking kwarto. But uh, latter part ng uh, mixing and recording career ko, eh, nag-decide ako mag-acquire ng Focusrite 18i20 because I want to support myself uh, in terms of recording drums. And then nag-add ako sa kanya ng uh, Focusrite Dynamic Pre to extend its inputs up to 16. Now, ang main sound card ko is yung Focusrite 18i20. Uh, yung 2i2 ko, I, it serves as a backup na lang just in case masiraan ako. Um, and then, I use it for backing track also when we are playing live with my band in Yunukotos. I heavily invested in speakers and as well as the interface because that's what I do. My advice to you guys is try to improve what you're good at. Surround yourself with uh, tools that you know na makakatulong sa inyo to progress. Okay, for my headsets, I own two headsets. One is for mixing and mastering and two is for my general purpose listening. My main guy for mixing is the HD600 by Sennheiser. I use this for when I mix, especially kapag uh, kailangan ko mag, you know, gusto ko lang na naka earphones. And then, uh, if I am detailing my edits, I use these headphones. For my general purpose listening earphones, I go with my uh, HyperX Cloudflight. Kasi high wireless siya, at the same time, pwede siya sa computer, kahit sa computer. Basta may USB at saka sa PlayStation. And yung uh, HyperX Cloud Flight ko is, uh, sometimes I use it to reference my mixes then. That's the detailed summary of my setup guys. So, again, it's intentional based on the purpose that I'm using. If you don't need it, don't buy it. Bago ako nag-invest sa mga bagay na ito, ay pinag-isipan ko muna din pa ini. At pinag-aralan ko, and pumunta ako sa YouTube University para alamin kung paano sila gumagana. Okay, additional content lang. Uh, I own a rack. Uh, yung rack na to ay pinanganak lang dahil uh, nung bumili ako ng screens, nawala na lang space yung aking mga racks. So, kailangan ko mag-isip ng paraan para pagkaroon sila na lang uh, lagayan. So, ito na yung rack na yun. Okay, on top is the Samsung Power Conditioner. Ito yung responsible para i-power up yung lahat ng devices dito sa rack na to. The second rack is AxeFX. Uh, Pinurchase ko ito because ang hirap maghanap ng AxeFX dito sa Pilipinas. 
Kaya nung may nung nag-post nito na for sale, hindi na ako nagdalawang isip na i-purchase siya dahil alam kong kailangan ko siya. Yan din yung ginamit namin sa recording nung na-record namin yung ad niya. So, mostly ng tone ng gitara ay nanggaling sa Axe FX. So, yung next track is the Focusrite 18920 with the Focusrite Dynamic Pre. And the next one is the Avantone CLA200. So, siya yung nagpa-power up ng aking Yamaha NS10 speaker. And yung mga susunod ay yung DBX equalizer which I don't use and also yung una kong uh, interface no actually pangalawa sa pangalawang interface that I own is uh, Emojo Fast Track uh, I believe it's 8R Fast Track 8R I think So yun lang guys no no at ibinalik ko yung ilaw kulipin <laughs> sinamatay Anyway all right guys that's it So I think may last one na lang ang pinakamalupit sa setup na to ay ang aking clean canteen jug. Ito ang aking clean canteen jug. So, it keeps me hydrated all the time. Uh, ano siya? 1.5 liter siya. So, thermal siya, guys. Kapag uh, umuha ko ng malamig na tubig sa baba, nilagay ko dyan. Nag nagtatagal siya ng hanggang 8 oras. So, mas matagal pa. So, yun. Yan yung pinakamapangis talaga dyan. Okay, I hope this video helps you. It works well. Ito yung mga brands na pinagtiwalaan ko at saka alam kong may magagandang review. Kaya yan yung mga kinuha ko. With all the gears that you have, sabi nga nila, nasa Indian pa rin yan, wala yan sa pana. So keep working hard to be better. Uh, sabayan ninyo ako as I go, as I make this channel look good. And sana kasama ko kayo sa growth ng channel na to as we go guys. Alright, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click that bell icon. And also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And please like my page, Manogenta TV. Uh, kasi doon ako magpo-post ng mga contents ko sa Facebook. And please don't forget to subscribe to Blastone Studios channel and also Imbu Nukudos YouTube channel. And follow us on all social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram. Again, this is your boy Manu. Signing out and see you on the next video. Peace!